pitiful. Sonic, meet Knuckles. He's got these huge hands. He's a brawler. He can punch, he can fight, and he is like the ultimate match for Sonic. Too easy. Knuckles is quite a big character in the Sonic landscape, in the Sonic universe. Where Sonic's fast, Knuckles is strong. And we're going to have a lot of fun with that within the action of this movie. I am an Enkidna. Yeah! Trained since birth in all forms of lethal combat. Uh -huh. Destined to restore honor to my tribe. And willing to destroy anything that gets in my way. Welcome to the team. Oh! I have decent knuckles, but I don't have knuckles like knuckles. Size. These knuckles are massive. Knuckles is the last of the echidnas. The echidnas are a very proud warrior race that have kind of gotten themselves extinct by virtue of their own aggressiveness. We fought and died at their hands, and now you will die at mine. And because he's the last of his kind, he really has this deep sense of honor. Why don't you stand still and die with honor? Traditionally, in the video games, he is the protector of the Master Emerald. And the Master Emerald is such a holy grail in the Sonic universe. At last, the Master Emerald. He's not a warm and fuzzy guy. He's a straight to the point and means business. He doesn't really understand emotion, just understands brute force. When he hears about the power of Knuckles, it's a daunting task to dominate this character, but that's what he must do. He must use Knuckles' power to his own gains. You think these machines are a match for me? I will shatter them like the bones from a fallen... Oh, they are stairs. Knuckles is a reasonable person. He's a ruffian. He's a warrior. Uh, oh, I think we lost him. Yeah. Tiny magic hedgehog destroyed. When we meet him, he's going to come to our world as the first real character who has comparable abilities to Sonic. Do I look like I need your power? He's going to be a villain that Sonic faces off against who really can handle Sonic's powers like no one before. These sequences feel like these big, huge, blockbuster-type action sequences. <laughs> but then countered with the comedy that people get from Sonic, and now we have Tails and Knuckles. It feels like it's all been leading to this build. What is going on? Robotnik's back? And who is Clifford the Big Red Rage Monster? Knuckles comes into this movie. <laughs> So you understand that Sonic is going to need to grow a little as a hero. Ah! It's important to have new characters to help your characters develop and to test them. You're unskilled, untrained, and unworthy. Sonic and Knuckles have very different powers, which allows for great battles. And we have a battle scene in the third act of this movie between the two of them, where they're in the labyrinth and they have this huge fight towards the end. And I think it's one of the show-stopping iconic pieces of this movie. I don't want to fight you, but you're not giving me much choice. Let's do this. Right from the start, we just knew that Knuckles' voice was going to need something very different from Sonic. Ah! Ben is so incredible. He's got such great energy with his delivery. Wow. So for Knuckles, please, it's just a much stronger, more brutish, Deceiver! more formidable character. We needed a voice that had that same weight and that really added that gravitas to it. It is my destiny to do what my ancestors could not. To restore the ultimate power to the home of my people. It's really exciting for us to have somebody of his talent playing the role of Knuckles to bring the strength <laughs> and the heart. We make our stand here on the field of battle. There's a lot of opportunity for jokes and for humor there, and Idris just had a blast playing with that and really making it his own. Just chilling, watching TV. Dot, 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 dot. He's got such great instincts as an actor, and it's really elevated Knuckles' performance across the board. The voice of Knuckles was a bit of a journey, trying to understand what does this character sound like? Is he American? Is he English? Is he tribal? What was great is that we had a chance to just explore different sound sonics, no pardon, but just explore different places my voice could go. Once Sonic sort of pulls the emotional layers back from Knuckles, 
we're gonna realize that he's just like Sonic. He's just another character who needs someone. Sonic, I had just been told they have sprinkles. Ice cream and sprinkles? This is your new destiny. We're able to stage action that's so cool and so extraordinary. <clears throat> Really also to just make Knuckles a fully dimensional character, make him relatable, make him emotional, because ultimately we really want all of these little CG characters to really be alive. Would I play Knuckles again? Absolutely. I'm glad to say that I think we're going to do that.